Are you buying Robux or redeeming a gift card soon? Well, use code MEGANPLAYS while doing so to help support the channel. Katie, 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 we have to get going right now off to school. It's such an important day for me. I mean, I know you know how important today is. I do? Uh, can you remind me what it's supposed to be again? Oh my gosh, it's me and Brad's anniversary! I'm so excited! Okay, alright, I didn't expect you to say that. Uh, I was kind of expecting you to say it was finals day, but that is way more exciting. So, are you guys gonna do anything today? Um, well, I think that he might have some surprises planned. I mean, he didn't really call or text me last night. It, it makes me feel like he's trying to, you know, really surprise me, really, you know, make me smile and happy, because he, he's just just been the greatest boyfriend in the world this past year. Sure, our relationship has been like a little bit shallow and a little bit like just like here and there, but I have a really good feeling about today. Well, I mean, then what are we sitting around here for? Let's go talk to him. Well, I mean, you'll talk to him. I'll support you from afar. Thank you so much. Okay, mom, have a really great day. Love you so much. Oh my gosh, it's just such a good day. The birds are singing, they're chirping, the butterflies are flying. Ah, nothing could ruin today. You're sure that uh, Brad didn't forget, you know? No, why would he forget her anniversary? Like, this is really big news. He's never been in a long-term relationship either, so it's very, very serious. Right, right. All right, well, I mean, if you're so sure, then let's go. There he is. He's on his phone. I bet he's, like, putting together a massive surprise for me. He's probably, like, ordering some flowers or buying us concert tickets or something, like, really fun like that. Yeah, that that totally sounds like Brad. He's totally not going to let you down at all. Never. Uh, uh, not like the last few times. It's going to be really good this time. Okay, um, hey, Brad. Oh, uh, hey, hey Megan. Uh, what brings you here to, uh, oh, school. That's right. Um... Like you said, we're at school. That's what brings me here every single day to see you, my amazing best boyfriend, every single day. I could, you know, just, you know, be so excited because do you remember what today is? Uh, of course I do. But do you remember what today is? Of course. It's our anniversary. Oh, yeah. Of course. It's our anniversary. Happy anniversary. You're so funny. You're just always joking around with me. So do we have anything planned for today? Are we super, like, excited to go out? Maybe go to dinner, a concert, movies? Oh, yeah. You know me. I I, I planned so many things. It, it's definitely going to be a surprise, though, so I can't tell you yet. Oh, really? That's actually really unlike you because I'm usually the one doing all the planning and the engaging and, like, making sure that, you know, that, that we go do fun things. But... I cannot wait to see what you, like, are gonna do. Like, so do, do you have, like, flowers in your locker for me? Can I take a look? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go in my locker. Um, and don't look through my stuff. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, because it's such a big surprise. I, I wouldn't want to spoil it for you. So I guess I will just, uh, see you at lunch. Maybe we can split a cheeseburger or something. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. See you then. <sighs> just such a great day. I'm so excited for what Brad has Megan, to offer. Megan, have you seen? Have you seen? Uh, seen what? Well, I mean, hasn't your boyfriend told you? Oh my gosh, don't tell me, don't tell me. He got me um, a balloon parade. It's outside with tons of confetti and a cake. Um, no, uh, I don't really know why you would think that, but no, it, look at his TikTok views, Megan. He's gotten like 5 million overnight. Wow, uh, I can't believe he wouldn't tell me something like this. Wait, click on his profile. He has 10 million followers? I mean, I really thought that you would have known. I mean, did he did he not tell you at all? No, he's been really secretive. Maybe he's just waiting to tell me because, you know, he wants to surprise me. Maybe he's gonna, like, make a TikTok with me or something like that and, like, let everybody know how much he cares about me. That's definitely what he was probably gonna do. It's probably just all a big surprise. I don't know, Megan. Uh, he seems kind of sus. I am really not liking the way that he's acting on your anniversary. I mean, like, isn't today super important to you? <sighs> Yeah, it is, but it's important to him too. And I don't I don't think he forgot. He was he was kind of messing around with me this morning. But here, let's go talk to him. I'm sure he'll tell us all about his TikTok and the plans he has for the anniversary. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Brad, oh my gosh, hey! Oh, you got a cheeseburger? Oh. I thought we were gonna split one. Well, you know, I got a pizza just as like an appetizer, because I'm kinda hungry. Oh, okay. Well, do you have any like super exciting news to tell me? Um, super exciting news? Uh I don't think so. Nothing too exciting has been happening to me. It's not like I'm famous or anything. Oh my gosh, you're so funny and modest. My sister Katie totally saw that you have a massive TikTok following now. 
very good for you. I'm so happy for you. I know that you've been, you know, playing the guitar on TikTok for a really long time, trying to get noticed, and you finally did. So I'm just really happy for you. Wait, uh, your sister saw that? Oh, I didn't know that so many people saw it. Wait, I'm famous? I had no idea. Well, yeah, I mean, but whenever I try to go to your TikTok, like, I can't see anything on there for some reason, so I think my phone might be broken. Yeah, I think, like, TikTok's, like, glitched or something. I didn't even know I was famous, obviously. Well, congratulations. I know how long you've been wanting this, and just so you know, I completely support you on your oh, TikTok endeavors. Autograph? Okay, here you go. And here you go. Okay, what now? Well, I just want to let you know how happy I was for you. Um, so anyway, past TikTok, do you want to like make plans for dinner tonight? I would love to. You know, I you know me. I'm always loving to do stuff like that. But I'm there's a really great oh. pizza place that's down the street, and I think that you can even get sprinkles added to your pizza. Actually, Megan, uh, you didn't let me finish my sentence. I said I can't go to dinner with you. Oh. Um. Okay. Why not? I mean, it is our anniversary. <sighs> you're gonna make me do this? Okay, well, I guess if you're gonna make me do this, it's time to make a bit of a scene. I am now TikTok famous, as you can see. That's 10 million followers, 5 million views. That means only 5 million people watched, but 10 million people followed. How does that happen? I don't even know, but that's because I can make six songs with my guitar and no longer I am writing about you. Well, that's okay. You don't have to write about me. I mean, I just want you to follow your dreams. Ah, Barb, yeah, your support is cringe. And it's because you're just trying to use me because you're a gold digger. Yeah, Brad's famous and you're a gold digging user. What? We've been together for like a year. See this contract? See this contract? It says that I'm about to be rich. I'm about to sign with a record label. Nothing can stop me. Nothing. I'm going to be rich and famous and you're going to be a big loser that lives in Brooklyn for the rest of your life. Why are you being so mean to me? I wish you would jump off that ledge, my friend. Hey! Uh, you know what? I think that you're really mean, and are you guys filming this? Don't put this out there. This is really embarrassing for me. Yeah, put it out there. I'm Brad, the most famous TikToker in the world. Get in a record deal with Columbia Records. You know what? Who needs you? Come on, Katie. Let's go home. Who needs me? Everybody does, because I'm famous. <sighs> Another episode of Brook High. <gasps> look at how happy all the students look with their boyfriends and their best friends. And I have nothing now dumped on my anniversary. <sighs> all right, all right. I'm not going to let you mope around and watch another episode of Brook High without us doing something about this. Something about what? You heard him. I'm just a big loser gold digger. And he wants nothing to do with me. Yeah, but that's just because, well, he doesn't know how to handle all of this fame. And honestly, he wasn't a good guy for you in the first place. He has no idea what he's missing. Well, you really think so? I mean, what could we even do at this point? I mean, he's famous, he's rich, everyone's just gonna believe him over me. And I have no idea how that TikTok's doing that they posted about our very embarrassing breakup, but I bet everybody's just laughing at me and pointing their fingers and talking about how pathetic I am. Well, I mean, here's the thing about fame. Sure, you can be famous for a good reason, but you can also be famous for bad reasons too. It's almost like, you know, I was taking notes the whole time you guys were talking and filming, and not to mention a bunch of other people were filming too. I don't think that what Brad said to you is gonna go over well. Oh yeah, it, it's got like 2 million views, but look at the comments. Brad is so cute, but his attitude is awful. I feel so bad for Megan, and I am unsubbing forever. <gasps> oh my gosh, he, they're, they're unsubbing from him. They don't like him anymore. Oh my gosh, if you even look a little bit further, his manager is having to go out and publicly defend him. Oh no, I kind of feel bad, but also I just don't feel like somebody like that should have a position of power. Nobody's gonna mess with my sister and get away with it. So why don't we add a little more fuel to the fire? Okay, if you think that's a good idea. All right, now if I can just post a little blog post here. Brad and Megan have been dating for a year, and not only did he dump her on their anniversary, but let's see, he didn't plan any dates, he didn't buy her any gifts. In fact, he just made your GPA drop so that you guys could spend more time together. And add, add in that he likes the smell of feet, because he does. It was always really weird. Oh. He would take my sandals and Ew. smell them. And he would take her sandals and smell them often. Totally creepy. 
and post. Okay, okay, so I'm feeling a lot better. You know, revenge is never good, but I'm, I'm gonna justify it in this case. Do you wanna go get some ice cream? Yes, that sounds perfect. You know, there's nothing better for heartbreak than ice cream. Wow, it looks like something's going on at the ice cream store. <gasps> It's Brad! Ugh, that's so annoying. We just can't escape him. He's everywhere that we want to go. Yeah, but hey, that's not going to stop us. We're still going to walk right in there and get our ice cream. Come on. Okay, okay, if you insist. Well, if it isn't the losiest loser of them all. Look at the camera's already here. Hello, it's Brad, TV extraordinaire. Okay, um, well, I just came to get ice cream because you have not been a very nice person, and I'm just blah, trying to blah, 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 blah. You know what? Why blah, don't blah, 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 blah. Okay, are you done? Are you done? Yes, I am. Come on, get ice cream. Let's go sit down. Oh, a reporter, what would you like to ask me, sir? Is it about my next? Single? No, I'm actually here to interview you why you're such a meanie poopy pants. Meanie poopy pants? I'm not a meanie poopy pants. Those are all rumors. Propaganda made by the media. Haven't you seen your comments? Everyone, like, hates you now. Oh, my gosh. You're the worst TikToker ever. What? No. Everyone loves me. Everyone loves Brad. Ew, is that Brad? Wow, I didn't think I was going to actually see you in person. I didn't think they were going to let you outside. What? No, of course they would, because I'm Brad. I'm Brad. Ah, you guys are all losers, just like Megan. Oh, my gosh, that's Megan? That's the girl from the video. I have to have, ask you some questions, too. What does it feel like to get famous overnight? Uh, what does it feel like? Wait, no, I'm famous, not her. Oh, wow. I mean, I didn't really realize it, but I guess this is a really great time to launch my own TikTok career. After tragically getting my heart broken from a boy that I really thought loved me, I think what I'm going to do now is start making TikToks, and then I'm going to become a famous musician where all of my songs are about how stinky some boys can be i'm gonna throw this basketball in her head bam oh you really are a bad guy aren't you brad why don't you just go away you guys are all losers you're gonna regret this no <sighs> well it's kind of kind of some sweet justice if you ask me yeah absolutely and hey looks like you're gonna be the famous one now we're gonna make so much money i know okay maybe we should go home and start brainstorming some really awesome tiktok ideas that don't include totally ruining other people's lives thank you guys so much for watching today's brick even video if you loved it do not forget to hit the like button subscribe button and leave a comment down below peachy squad do not forget to hashtag stay peachy stay kind and i will talk to you guys next time bye